Um, this is God's Pat's Seat channel and today I'm just going to show you a bit about um, CMD and Run. Um, with Run you can do many things and CMD you can do many things as well. I'm going to start with Run first. If you open up Run um, you can easily find it on your um, start bar. If you just search at Run then it will come there. Um, basically once you have it you can type in a number of things. I'll put these in the description. You can use either of these. I'm going to show you what they are. If you type in c o m p m g m t dot m s c, open that up, and click OK. This is a computer management. Um, this shows you system tools and disk management as well. Another one for this is um, Regit, um, R e g e d i t. Open up this. This is a register editor. Um, if you want to use this, it's quite complicated, so don't change stuff unless you know what you're doing, like all these files and folders. Um, another one here is msconfig. This is computer configuration tool. Um, you can just, um, change and cancel stuff when starting up your computer. For example, it also takes less time to boot up. My my computer is already fast at booting up, so I don't need to change any of that. Another one here is MS Info 32. If you open it up, this gives you system information, um, system name, manufacturer, um, everything, components, resources, everything you need to know about your computer. And the last one I'm going to show you is t um, Task MGR. Or task manager. This is just an easy way of getting task manager on your computer at school if you can't go control delete and open up task manager that way. Okay, um, that's all for run. So now I'm going to show you some CMD tricks. Before I show you, I'm going to show you how to get CMD on a school computer or any computers what have CMD blocked. If you get a notepad, any notepad, and basically type in A echo off the A symbol for email address and put CMD. Go file, save as and you can save as CMD or whatever you want to call it dot bat. Um, you can name whatever you like but make sure dot bat is at the end otherwise it doesn't work. Save it and this is what it will look like on your dashboard or it may look different because mine's Windows Vista slash um, Mac. <laughs> um, if you open it up um, there you go there it is. I'm going to use my original one. Okay, open up this. Um, so I'm going to show you some tricks with this. Um, if you type in net user, you can find a list of all the users on my computer. So there's mine, parents, and my guest. Um, every computer has a guest. Um, if you do that, you can type in net user, and you can type in um, the username after it. So I'm going to put guest, type it in, and it shows information. Um, says whether it's got a password on it or not, when was it last logged in and the time, and all that. Um, you can also type in net user, then for example guest, then if you go space and press shift 8 for the star, asterisk or whatever you want to call it, press enter, you can type in a password. You can put any password you like, um, you don't even need to change it with a old one. You can click enter and enter again if you want to put no password on it at all. Um, when you type it in it comes up as stars so make sure you remember what you typed in. There's that. But now um, I'm going to show you um, CD dot dot. Um, this is basically just a uh, go back um, directory command. Um, if you notice it says C drive for users and my user and the desktop because it is on my desktop of course on my user um, basically. 
you click, if you type in cd dot dot, it'll take you back a directory. So it'll take you to my profile. And if I put cd dot dot again, go to users and cd dot dot, it'll be C drive, and you can't go any f lower than that because C drive is basically your computer. Um, if you want to go back up a directory, um, you can type in cd then a file, um, a folder name, but you don't know any. So if you type in dir, it brings up a list of all the folders in your C drive. So program, so here program files, users, Windows, and all that. So then you can just type in let's say cd, then let's say users, then I'm back up to my users again, and you can type in dir, then you got, and you can look at the users, and you can just keep on going to cd, then you can use, use gone to my parents. Then you can do um, dir, then it shows or desktop, desktop and all that what's in the files too. Um, another thing, I'm going to close that and reopen it again so it's not as messy. Basically here, um, if you type in ping, you, do you know I've made, I've made a video about this before, you can ping websites, well I found another way of getting loads of information. Also, this is a way of getting onto blocked websites. What you do is you ping any website, so www.miniclip.com or anything like that, or www.youtube.com. Make sure you put ping at the beginning, and basically it comes up here and needs this an IP address, and you can just type this into the search bar, and it should come up with the website unless they've blocked the IP address as well. Um, if you go onto a certain website, I'll put it, the link in the description. It's called dnsstuff.com and you can type in I enter IP um, addresses for extra information about the website so you can just type in um, 209 and I've already got it here this is the exact same, oh wait it's a little different I've changed the back bit, bottom last bit to there and this is the um, IP address if I click enter if you scroll down a little and it shows you information about the IP address it shows you um, IP address um, the ASN name so they know it's Google it's IP registered in the United States blah 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 city is unknown and it has a map um, I don't think the map's that specific actually um, and this just gives you all the information you can click on here it brings up even more information like so and um, basically there you go um, okay so this has been Scott's Pat's Elite channel and see ya